Hello everyone, just a few announcements before I start this video. Very soon, I'll no longer be using social media like Instagram and Facebook to promote my art and business. So I'd like to direct you to the avenues that I'll be using instead. I will still be using YouTube where I already post one video a month. Here you can see me work on my art and hear me chat about things of interest. I have a monthly newsletter blog where I share a bit about my art and projects that I'm working on, a little bit about the artist's life, and very soon artwork that I will have for sale. As part of my subscriber list, you'll be the first to hear about everything. And if you sign up now, you'll get a free gift in your welcome email. The sign up box is on my website. Speaking of, my website is the hub for everything. You can find links to every place that I am on the internet, my about page, my portfolio, how to get in contact, and how to buy my art. My website is at mistanigy.wixsite.com slash mistanigy. All links are below in the description box. Thank you so much for listening and enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Danielle. I'm an artist from Trinidad and Tobago and this is the fourth video on my new art channel. And um, what did you think of my little um, advert at the beginning? <laughs> um, I keep forgetting to, you know, advertise my stuff. So I thought, you know what, let me just make a short video and just tack it at the beginning of future videos. So like, I won't have to remember. Um, yeah, I'm outside, so it's a bit noisy. <laughs> but yeah, um, so for today's video, I thought I'd do something a little bit fun and show you all of the um, art that I've made for um, my business so far, like the new stuff. Um, since like I'm going a whole new route with like the nature pack and stuff. Um, I don't have a lot actually. I thought I did, but I don't. Um, but uh, I have enough to make a video, and uh, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoy, like I went a little bit further with the editing than I usually do. I was a little bit inspired this month, so yeah. <laughs> okay, like, let's get to the video. So we're starting off with one of my favorite paintings. Um, this one is simply called An Animal Cell and it's my creative interpretation of an animal cell and its organelles. Um, this piece was all about detail upon detail upon detail. Um, it took quite a while. I think I did this within two months, working on it on and off. And um, yeah, I did curse myself up. Why did I do this to myself? But as you can see, it was worth it. And I'm going to do it to myself again in the future because I want to make a plant salvation um, or like matching piece for this. This next piece was inspired by plant cells, like how they line up together. Um, and this was a kind of trusty process piece because I kind of just went in. I just wanted to use orange and blue and, um, you know, I did a thing. It looked a hot mess um, during the process, but as you can see, it turned out really cool. My favorite part is the um, white ladder bits that I used white ink for. Um, this piece is just called orange and blue because I don't have a good name for it yet. <laughs> this third piece um, is another favorite. It's again creatively called black and yellow. <laughs> Still trying to figure out a name. Um, I just really wanted to use this color scheme and I decided to just do a page full of um, leaves. And I think I have a couple flowers in there too. Um, I did have a lot of fun with this piece. I remember really enjoying this piece. And um, around the edges, I painted it with gold watercolor. Um, is that called gilded edges? Um, I don't know, but like I thought that would look cool. Um, and it does. <laughs> yeah. This fourth piece I actually did before um, the black and yellow one. Um, this one used to be red and blue, again very creative, but um, it has a proper name now. It's called the Natural City because um, some of the structures um, kind of reminded me of the city, like the rays on top kind of reminded me of city lights and these little 
balls like circles with the triangles and lines like it gave me city vibes even though this piece was mostly mushroom focused so that's what i decided to call it and this was a watercolor and acrylic piece and um, i also outlined the edges with it was either silver paint or pearlizing medium can't remember which this little piece here is called a little slice of nature um, i did this on this really cool um, handmade paper that i bought in canterbury when i was in england um, and I called it the little piece of nature because it was a green themed piece um, also painted the edges in gold I think it looks really cool with the uneven edges um, and yeah this paint is just really cute um, I think the flowers I chose with daisies I think that's what they're called but yeah um, this is a very nice little piece now um this piece is from my last video so if you saw that video you know this one this one is called river rocks it's an acrylic painting that i did on paper that i gessoed that was an experiment and it worked well um it was inspired by well river rocks and the um, shadows that the water makes on it when the light is shining on it um the patterns look more like um, cells, like maybe skin cells or something like that, which looks really cool. Um, I love this painting. It's definitely another favorite. And I'd love to do like um, another one like this. Now this is a series of paintings, um, just like circle paintings. I had scraps of paper, so I decided to cut them into circles. And these are the names of the paintings from in the order that I put them up. Sunset on the leaves, sand meets sea, green and purple, delicate veins, the browning, and the pink. Um, some of them, um, they have placeholder names, <laughs> yeah. Some of these, most of these were kind of just came up with them on the fly um sand meets sea that definitely had a little inspiration behind it again the shadows the water mix and the sand when the light hits it um pink was i think pink is one of my favorites that was a recent one i finished and that was like an experiment and it worked as you can see um delicate veins that one um i just wanted to do a lot of detail and uh i did <laughs> And yeah, um, I like this little series and I'll definitely do something like this again. Now this is an old piece, um, I think it's from 2020, this one is called Lysis um, and Lysis, I think it means cell death, I think that's cell death, so like I painted a, a dying cell, like the membrane burst open and the um, little organelles are spilling out. This was inspired by the channel um, Journey to the Microcosmos. Um, they have like really cool videos um, featuring the little um, organisms of the microcosmos. <laughs> This is another old piece, I think from 2019. Um, this one is called Little Organs of the Cell and it's a good abstract piece um, inspired by the little organs of a cell, um, which are called organelles. Um, I vaguely remember painting this, yeah, this is when I used to paint outside. Um, this was an experimental painting, I think I was experimenting with wet and wet and stuff like that. Um, it's in plastic because I took it to a market to sell. Um, it didn't sell. Uh, hopefully one of you might like to buy it though. Now these are um, poster backgrounds I did. Um, this was for um, a classmate from university. I think they were doing like a um, charity concert with their band and other bands and they asked some of um, you know the other classmates to design some posters so um, I did everything traditionally the backgrounds and the words and then I put it together in Photoshop I'll put up a picture for you to see and um, 
my favorite out of these two are the green like i don't know how i did it but i love the textured look i got in the background and like um i don't know like the green just looks so cool like i like it really like it green is one of my favorite colors to paint with so that that's probably why as well <laughs> Um, here's some more old art. I think this is from 2017. I remember doing this on um, Christmas Eve because this is actually a Christmas wreath um, made out of mushrooms. It's supposed to be red, green, and gold, but it's more orange because I, I did use orange and yellow. Um, this was one of the first pieces inspired by nature pattern stuff and I was very into mushrooms at the time. So I used to do a lot of nature um, inspired pattern paintings. Um, I was quite proud of this piece at the time, still pr pretty proud of it because um, this was like um, a lineless artwork which I didn't do at the time, well didn't do that kind of work often. And this last one was a little experiment I did when I was in university. Um, I think this was one of the first experiments into the nature pattern stuff I was doing. I was basically trying to figure out how I wanted to do the patterns. Um, as you could see at the bottom, I went very realistic with the shapes and the colors. Um, it looks cool, but as you can see, that doesn't really look like a pattern. It looks more like an illustration. <laughs> and then on top, I branched out a bit more, did different colors, did some lines and shapes and flowers and stuff like that. I think it looks really cool. Um, I use like pens and um, inks and paints and stuff like that. Um, on the other side, that was the start of another pattern piece similar to this, I suppose, but I never finished it, but I thought I'd show you anyway because like, it's a cool watercolor wash. And that is all of the pieces. Um, I thought I had more, but apparently I did not. Um, but that's okay because I'm working on more at the moment um, for the rest of this year. I'll just be working on art to um, eventually put up for sale and stuff like that. Um, this is all the artwork on the wall. I decided to do a little gallery and take some pictures and film it and stuff. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, so um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in May in my next video which is going to be another um, look at some art because I just started a new sketchbook and it's already halfway full so I have a good bit of stuff to show you so I um, look forward to that. <laughs> And before I go, this is just a reminder to um, sign up for my newsletter if you want to be more in the know about um, the art that I'm working on, projects, and of course um, when stuff goes up for sale because there is where I'll be telling everyone first. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd slip that in even though I had the little advert in the beginning. <laughs> yes, yeah, so thank you again for watching and I will see you next month. Bye-bye.